not a YouTuber, just like giving my opinion. And here we're going to talk about old woodchuck there. Old Monty Cocaine Woodfang. And um, as, as some people are going to sit up there and say like, oh, pinheads. They're going to kick Monty while he's down, while, while he's down and out and things of that nature and he's off YouTube. Well, would that stop Monty from doing it to somebody else? But if anybody knows my history here, you know, I went head on with Monty when he was at, at his pinnacle, when, you know, there was, when the wood grain was, was somewhat still intact before it was just, just, just a bunch of faceless trolls and, you know what I mean, when uh, Monty would send people uh, to, to troll my video and things of that nature. But the thing is with me, I'm not going to have a long out drawn out war with, with, with a moron without someone that can't give me a reasonable debate you know Monty stint on YouTube as I said before is one debacle after the next I'm like the dude took so many L's boops bruises and lumps you know and things of that nature and I'm surprised uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, people will, will, will support him. I'm like, uh, uh, he's, he's about as crazy as a barrel full of cockeyed rattlesnakes. You know, he's about as smart as a sea cucumber. So, um, <laughs> that's the thing. You know, he, he's only funny rarely when he goes, when he goes, he goes against somebody and he sort of uses truth against him rather than, than something he, uh, an original idea that he concocted in his coconut. Um, but, you know, I haven't made a video in regards to this corner of YouTube in over six months. Now, I, I've made like rebuttals against John Logic or whatever, but, so, um, it, th this is going to be interesting. And, you know, and for the most part, most people, they, they kind of left me alone. They're like, well, Pinheads, he's doing his own thing. Except for Monty, he was still trying to put out Peeping Pins video or whatever. So I, I, I don't know. I, I said this before, that this dude had some sort of sexual uh, 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 fixation with me. Notice how when he roasts me or whatever, he doesn't use truth. No, he can't do that. That's why I said that, you know what I'm saying, I get treated unfairly in this corner of YouTube. Um, so he creates this character that is almost like a, his, um, it's his own inner uh, persona, you know, coming out. You know, this perverted, I'm like, he did a video imitating me, and I said this before, in a disguise running around in, in an adult novelty store. Now, just think about it. If a, if a person, especially a black man, wears some sort of disguise inside of a store, inside a place of business, that's going to arouse a lot of attention. But for him, it didn't. You know why? Because the clerks that worked in that store knew who he was. He said, that's Monty. He is a loyal customer. He comes in here weekly buying movies, uh, uh, dildos, all types of lubes, you know what I mean? For remote control, vaginas, all kinds. Matter of fact, when they get a new shipment in, the first thing they do is they call him. I'm like, he's a gold member. He got his own fucking uh, parking space. You know, and that's the thing. I'm like, Monty could have done a video, uh, you know, with, with a tranny, with a transgender, uh, getting fellatio with a transgender, transvestite, or whatever the hell they want to call themselves. Pretending to be me and people will think that funny, but not real facts that hey, he's physically letting a trans Touch his penis with his mouth, you know, but but that's the thing, but I understand Monty's kind of like that uh, Retarded kid with a helmet, you know that people want to <laughs> Keep pushing. I'm like, I'm like the dude was sending videos to Tommy Sotomayor. I'm like Monty should should get it through his coconut there that time he was only using him to go at Tyrone Thompson or his detractors you know that's it he's not interested in anything my any of his endeavors or movies or whatnot 
So, <laughs> I don't know. Now, as far as Monty's losing his job, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's, if, it's, if it's fake, if he's putting, if it's another soap opera. But I'll tell you this right now. He has done things that, that makes it possible. You know, now as far as me, you know, I, I, I said this a long time ago. I'm my own boss. I do my own thing. I'm not worried about anything I do on social media coming back and haunting me. You know, besides I got a little bit of residual income, you know what I'm saying, my family got some money. So I, I, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not worried about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm at boss man status, which that's what he should have been at. You know what I mean? But in, and as I said before, I said it two years ago, my reputation is infallible. Never been exposed, you know, never got on camera and lied and, or whatever. No information came about, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying, was brought up about me that is damaging nada. You know what I'm saying? Me take uh, an L or whatever, get that silly thought out of your head. And I gotta give a, give a shout out to Snake Loaf because he ran Monty off Wood off YouTube, I think twice now. And the thing is with Monty, Monty should have known. I'm like he, when you take an L, you just gotta just just say, oh, oh you got me, oh, you, oh. But these guys inside the roast arena, and they they're not gonna they're not gonna admit. They won't admit to it that that oh that that, that somebody stunned them. Oh, that, you know, and things of that nature, you know, and, and that's the thing. And these, and when it comes to the roast arena, you know, they go hard. And then when it comes to a, a certain point, you know, they're like, oh, you know, well, with that, that that's over the edge that or, or so forth. But sitting back analyzing this place, um, you got, you already know how vicious people are here. And, you uh, know, so it's, it's hard for me to feel sorry for anybody when somebody like Monty goes over the edge, which you you know <laughs> he's gonna do it, and you still sit here and you uh, participate in this mud slinging contest, you know, and, and so forth. Now, you know, the thing is with Monty, Monty makes me laugh when, when I least expect it, when he's not trying to be funny. Now, when that, when that video he came, when he did that video before his last one, when he was sweating bullets, when he was like, oh, oh, you guys can't, you guys can't fuck with my job. Me and my boss was laughing at it. And then he said his boss, <laughs> his boss saw his Pip Longballs video and was laughing or whatever. I'm like, his Pip Longballs video is enough to get him fired just for that. Yeah, and his boss recommends him to a psych ward, but, but come on. I'm like Monty is a, a is a malicious, a uh, 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 malicious liar. You know, I'm like he's lied, throw people under the bus just to get attention. And I'm gonna tell you one thing about the the, the roasterama, the roast arena. You know, uh, well, when I say my, my my when I put my signature slogan, I'm not a YouTuber. I just like making videos. A lot of people in this corner should should adapt to it. They should be like, hey man, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just like getting on camera and being belligerent, you know, and cuss people out. I'm not a YouTuber. I just like dropping people's documents. Because, you know, because like, that's what people are here to see. People love seeing a, 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 a train wreck. You know, if you're walking in a store and, and two people are having a, a casual uh, conversation, um, you know, is that going to draw attention or are you just going to walk by them? You know, it's nothing. But if two people are in an argument, you know what I mean? They're yelling at each other and they're saying, you bitch ass motherfucker, you bitch, you know what I'm saying, you and that ugly ass motherfucking wife of yours, of course, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, uh, a lot of attention is going to gravitate towards that mayhem, and that's what it is, it's not, this corner of YouTube is like, I would say as far as these guys here, maybe it's fucking 15 or 20 percent talent, you know, but the rest is just you want to see somebody go after another person. And, I, and, and I'm not knocking it, you know, I understand what this corner of YouTube is. That's why I stepped away from it. I'm not going to sit here and judge and tell somebody, oh, you, you cussing and using foul language and stuff. Well, I know what it is. But the thing is with me, when I do a roast video, when I did my last masterpiece, Billy the Beaver, I try to use some sort of ingenuity. 
You know, because I see a lot of these roasters, they step outside themselves. Because a, a lot of these roasters want to be like LA, want to be like Kevin Smith or whatever, and steal stuff. And I'm going to tell you this about Monty. Monty is a straight up thief. I'm like, he rips so many people off. You know, he imitates their words and regurgitates what they say. It's kind of like, um, uh, you know what I mean, like like, like a parakeet. Or, um, I'm trying to think of, uh, what's that, um, record, uh, record of the old Transformers movie. You know, but, <laughs> if, if you could get my reference. But, of uh, the old Transformer cartoons. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm like... Like the beats he uses MF Doom, you know, which he didn't even know about MF Doom until I told him about it. Like those MF Doom special herbs. Yeah, you know, I was using those beats before. I'm like, it's cool you can use it. I don't own the beats, but still, still you know what I mean? I'm like uh, that 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 that's where he got those that's where he got the idea from when I gave him the reference of MF Doom. He constantly took stuff from Kevin. He constantly and I'm like he and he's just laying in the bed doing a roast video. That's Kevin. He steals stuff from LA and then he said, Well, I've been doing this before or whatever. So there's not much originality to him. Only thing somewhat original about him is that him uh, doing some sort of skits. But when he imitates people, you know, or, or mocks people, he doesn't really. I'm like, Tyrone Thompson was probably his best character, but Mike Mills. Did a far superior Clifton Rainey, which you know this is not a knock against Clifton Rainey, than Monty. It's like he he's trying too hard, and a lot of his videos, the star of it is somebody else. I'm like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like like like, like uh, any video he does with Gang War Weezy, Gang War Weezy, I was shining them. That one video he did with with Mama's Boy, with with Cliff. And that the female playing Cliff's mother, she took the cake. She was far, and then this is real. She was far funnier than Monty. Monty's Clifton fucking sucks. He cannot imitate Cliff at all. It's just like a regular dude. Cliff, in my opinion, does not have a speaking impediment. Everybody stutters and fumbles over their words sometimes. I admit I do, but Monty is the last motherfucker. I'm telling you, his. Grammatical errors are atrocious. He's the last dude to make fun of anybody's way anybody talks or pronounce words. You know, whether it be Kevin, whether it be LA, Tyrone Thompson, Monty being from, and that's the funny thing. Why, why do we got some of these slow talking motherfuckers from the East Coast? I used to live on the East Coast. Dudes on the East Coast are supposed to be kind of quick with it in the way they talking. You know what I mean? And and, and, and and fast. You got Monty, Quasi Watson, and some other guys that talk like they from the fucking deep down south where with just horrible diction. <laughs> horrible English. But the thing is with me, uh, um, um, uh, uh, you know, when I'm gonna do a roast video, I'm not gonna imitate, I'm not gonna get on camera and call somebody a bitch or a motherfucker over and over again like a fucking retard I'm gonna do something clever and that's the thing you know what I mean I'm like the uh, um, no it's about getting somebody with, with something I don't know clever nowadays like like snake loke or somebody um, because at, in the past six months the roast videos have deteriorated it's like people just aren't even trying hour long roast about nothing just calling somebody a motherfucker and bitch are just saying the same thing that we already knew. You know, and that's the thing. Now, going back into boss man status, I don't give a fuck how, what good job. I'm like, talk, I'm like, Monty's sitting up there talking about, I, I, I got this good job. I got this good job. Like a Negro in the 1940s. We're living in the age of entrepreneurship, of the age of Dr. Boyce Watkins. And there's nothing wrong with, with working a job, I understand the security of it, you know, but having residual income. Maybe he does, maybe Monty did have it, have it in a bank, and, but he's got these crocodile tears or whatever, you know, because he doesn't want that job to be fucked with because it was a good job or whatever. But if you're a boss man status like me, I don't, I got videos going at fucking white people, you know, hard. You think so? You think I care that one of my comments 
Uh, now even on Facebook, leaks out to my <laughs> leaks out to my employer. You know, it's because I have no employer. Yeah, I do contract work. I work with with, with uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying a, a, another corporation. But you know, what I mean, uh, they don't they don't tell me when to work. I don't punch in nowhere. They don't give me a check stub. You know, what I'm saying I kind of do my own thing. If you ever go to the corporation where I do, uh, you know, what I'm saying do these jobs for, they'll tell you he's an independent contractor. He does not represent the company in any means. You know, and, and that's the thing. So, um, but that's all I want to say. Thanks for watching and never stop learning.